Greetings, Captains, and welcome to this Explain 10 video. After I've done the how to create photoreal scenery uh, for Explain video, many of you have requested that I do a video uh, tutorial to show how to create photoreal scenery for Explain using Arthur for Explain. And uh, one of my uh, subscribers actually sent me the link to the latest version of this application. And let me tell you, I'm very pleased with uh, really the ease of use of the results that it produces and just generally um, it, it is a much refined uh, application than G2XPL. So captains, in this video I'm going to show you how to create photoreal scenery using Author4 XP. The first thing that you need to do is you need to download the latest version of Arthur4 XP from the developer's Dropbox. I will provide you with a link in the description section of the video. Simply click on download and the entire zip folder will be downloaded to your hard drive. Once you're through with the download, unzip the contents of the zip file to a folder of your liking. I like to keep things simple and I just call the folder Arthur4 XP. The location can be any location on your hard drive, just make sure that it is a, on a hard drive that has plenty of space, as this application is space hungry. Also, make sure that you have the latest um, version of Python for Windows installed on your machine. Once you are done with these two steps, locate the bin inside the resulting unzipped folder. Double click on Ortho4XP version 119.exe. We are now ready to create some photo scenery for Explain. There are two ways that you can create photo scenery with Ortho4XP. A single tile process in which you have to manually click on these steps to build the, um, the scenery package or batch processing. It is my recommendation to build um, all your photo scenery using the batch process even if you are creating a single tile. This will all make sense as we go through this video. Now, one thing that is extremely important um, to understand is that the building the photo scenery is really a two-step process. The first part of the process is where your actual photo scenery is built. And this is from up here until about here. That entire process is for building the photo scenery. And then the final process is building the overlays. Now the overlays is really nothing but your buildings, your roads. So if you wanna see roads and cars and trees, then you need to build an overlay. And the way you build the overlay is you need to specify where should R4XP pick up the, this information from, the roads and the buildings information from. Now, if you are using um, the HD meshes, you need to specify the folder where this information is located. So in my case, it's going to be custom scenery and, for example, New Zealand, okay? And make sure that the root folder you select is one level above Earth nav data and say select folder. So now if I'm creating scenery for New Zealand, um, the overlays will be picked up from the New Zealand uh, scenery. If you don't have any HD meshes, then you need to have Ortho4XP pick up the overlays from the Explain Global Scenery folder. And to do this, you click on Explain and then Global Scenery, Explain 10 Global Scenery. Again, you need to be one level above the Earth nav data and then say Select. We are pretty much now ready to start creating uh, photo scenery, but let me just tell you a few things um, that I personally like a lot in, in this application. The zoom level information, of course, you can uh, specify 
from 12 to 19, 19 being the highest, of course, um, I find 17 to be a good balance between uh, performance and quality. Um, so you, you, your files won't be that large, but they actually look pretty good. And we'll take a look um, after the conclusion of the video at a uh, short footage showing the area that I've created. But what I really like about this is that you can create a, um, a custom, uh, custom zoom level for the area that you want to create, okay? And we'll just wait for this to load. Okay, so as you can see, uh, we are now using OSM, which is OpenStreetMaps, zoom level 11. And now we can actually add those polygons. So it says click, shift and click. So if I click this area, so this triangle, I can specify I want it to be, um, uh, you know, zoom level 17. And then maybe I want to create uh, another area here, all right, but I want this to be um, zoom level 18. And I, I think this is an absolutely great feature uh, that, that allows you to create, you know, your tiles according to your liking. So for example, maybe you want the immediate area around the airport to have uh, zoom level 19, but then the surrounding area maybe a uh, level 17 or 16 to save a little bit on space and of course processing power as as you create these all right i'm gonna uh, abandon uh, this screen now and let me show you how to create the um, photo scenery so we have our overlay um, folder selected this is where we're going to get all the overlays from let's go ahead and go to the earth tile map now I really like how this works because it's visual, so you can actually see what you're doing. And the way you do this is you hit on the, um, beg your pardon, you double click on the area or on the tile that you wanna create the photo scenery for. So for example, let us come here to, that's fine, Ireland's here. So if you double click, it will highlight this in yellow. And my recommendation, is to always use the batch process. It's a lot simpler and you can, uh, you, you can really save a lot of time uh, using the batch process, okay? So you double click to select the tile that you wanna create. If you want to create multiple tiles, you click on shift and then you select the tiles that you wanna create, okay? Then you come over here and you say build masks, make sure that this is clicked, build overlays, and then click on batch build. And you're pretty much done. Once you receive the message from the Ortho4XP application that it has now completed um, the entire creation of your photo scenery files, come back to your Ortho4XP uh, folder. In this folder, you will find a couple of things. Uh, one is inside the tiles folder, you will find the regions that you've created. And I have created a couple of regions, which you saw in the beginning of the video, uh, near the Fresno area. So these are the, um, the two areas that have been created. And if you click, you'll actually find everything there. The earth nav, nav data, terrain textures, the, uh, mesh for the data and the configuration file. Okay. So you need to copy these two folders to your explain custom scenery folder. And then you need to also copy the Ortho4XP overlays. Remember the, the overlays that we've created. Okay, so that also needs to go into your explain custom scenery folder. All right. Now, once you're done with that step, once you run explain, um, it might place the files in your scenery.ini file in the incorrect order. So let us take a look at the INI file and make sure that uh, we know where to position these, uh, these files, the resulting files from our uh, region and the overlays. Okay, so I'm in my explain custom scenery folder. And as you can see, these are the two regions that I've created using Ortho4XP. 
and the, this is the overlay uh, folder. So if I click on scenery.ini and my recommendation is to place those two files. Okay, by the way, the overlay always has to have a higher priority than the, uh, the scenery itself, okay? So make sure the overlay in your scenery.ini file is above the regions that you create, all right? And my recommendation is to always place them above any other mesh that you have. So give your new created photo scenery and overlay a higher priority than any other mesh that you have in Xplane. And that will make sure that your photo scenery will appear with the overlays and then you have all your airports above that so they have a higher priority and will show. You need to do this uh, the first time. Uh, as you create regions, just simply uh, place them underneath the overlay. So you can keep the overlay folder in your Xplane uh, custom scenery and just keep adding and deleting uh, regions. Okay. That's pretty much it, folks. Um, this is how to create the photo scenery using Ortho 4 XP. And now let's go and jump back in the sim and take a look at the results. All right, folks. So uh, we are now flying over the um, the area that I created with uh, Ortho 4 XP. And uh, as you can see, the uh, we have a huge area. Uh, these are the two tiles that I've created. It looks absolutely fantastic. I hope that you've enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. I hope that it's been a useful and informative video. Have fun creating photo reel scenery for X-Plane. Until next time, please take care of yourselves and each other. I will see you all very soon. Bye-bye for now.